Welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm me. You're RJ. Okay. AKA me. So, with it kind of being cold outside. Um, <laughs> yeah, how cold is it? It's like mm, 20 some degrees outside. Too cold. Yep. So, we were tagged by uh, Biddy Boo Brown over on her channel to find out what we think about Valentine's Day. So, we've got 14 questions that we're going to run down and try and give some insight to our, I guess, love lives. Not really. <laughs> that mean we actually had one. So, and at the end, we'll put in our own tags. We've got a couple people that we would find it interesting um, <clears throat> to hear from. So, we're going to get right into it. Number one, would you rather receive 100 roses or 100 pieces of chocolate for Valentine's Day? Chocolate. <laughs> He's all food. about the food. If it's edible, bring it. Now, hey, if there are candy roses, I'll take the 100 roses. <laughs> there you go. But um, if they're the little prickly things, no way. I like the roses because I can make them into potpourri. Who likes potpourri that much to want 100 roses made in potpourri? I mean, well, think of how much weight you could gain if you ate 100 pieces of chocolate in a day. Yeah, but I don't really like chocolate unless it's good. Think of, hey, they're not being, I mean, it's 100 pieces of chocolate. They're not saying the cheap chocolate that doesn't taste very good. They're saying chocolate in general. From Switzerland, so I could have really good yeah, chocolate. Yeah, really good chocolate. Okay, You're... I take really good chocolate. All right, moving on. Number two, red or pink lips on Valentine's Day. RJ, what's your shade? Um, let's see here. <laughs> um, I think this pink's a little much. Um... Oh, this has some red on it. Mm. He'd go for red. The red's more my style, I think. Red's more my style. And I don't do a whole lot of makeup, but when <laughs> I did, I did pink. Okay, I didn't... Whenever I wore red, it was like, here comes Christy's lips. Um, mm -hmm. It drew all my attention. Like, I don't know, it just... My lips were very prevalent, so... Somebody ought to do purple lips. There you go. All right, what's your favorite Valentine's Day treat? I'm going to answer for RJ. He always gets one of those big Rice Krispie treats. He loves those things. It's like huge. It's like a half pound, two pound. <laughs> as he's sitting here eating conversation hearts. Um, my favorite Valentine's Day treat, cherry cheesecake. All right. My Next favorite up. Valentine's Day treat, the one I don't have to buy. <laughs> All right, when it comes to desserts, what flavor do you prefer? Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry? Strawberry. He does strawberry. I like chocolate. all of them. Well, it depends on what it is. Um, I like chocolate ice cream, but I like vanilla pudding. Um, <coughs> I don't know. I just, I like all of them. All right, are you married, single, or in a relationship? I'm married. Have been for 25 years. I'm you, single. Son, <laughs> he said he was going to say that, but he won't tell me. There's a girl I know he likes, but I don't think he's... Are y'all dating? No. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, mom's got to get her, her <laughs> digs in somehow, <laughs> right? All right. <laughs> he's not saying a word. He's like, I'm not telling. I'm not spilling my love life. All right. Do you believe in love at first sight? Um, technically, now this is a Facebook thing I see. <laughs> oh, no. oh no, it takes four minutes for you to fall in love with somebody. So, there's, there's, so there's, technically, love at first sight does as long as it's a long sight. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't really think um, love at first sight. I think you have to to learn to love because with love comes trust, and that's not something that you just give automatically. Um, what's your favorite Valentine's Day memory as a child? My entire life, my sister's birthday was on Valentine's <coughs> Day. All right, let's so, see. that is my memory. We had birthday parties and I and remember stuff. the one year, you bought the really big Russell Stokers, because me, sister, and dad and you, we all split it. We got yeah. a good chocolate we for one, one year. <laughs> it was big, it was like this big. It was huge. All right, what's your favorite Valentine's Day memory as an adult? Um, when we first moved out here at work, they had 
something go wrong with a freezer or something, and my husband brought home, I don't know how many dozen flowers. Do you remember that? Mm -mm. Um, he works at a distribution center, and he literally had them packed in the car. His bro. <laughs> and just, well, they told them all. They told the guys, take them to your wives, take them to your wives, we got to get them out of here. Um, they were, you know, starting to die and stuff. Something had happened with the, the cooling system that keeps them, so they were going to lose them anyway, so they didn't want to have to dispose of all of them. So Lee brought a ton of them home. We had them all over the kitchen table, and I made pulpery out of those. So, yeah. Mm. Not all of them were roses, though. Um, they were just Valentine's Day bouquets that were put together with like Valentine's <clears throat> stuff. All I'm not an adult yet, so I don't need to say anything. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. Um, would you rather eat out in a restaurant or eat at home on Valentine's Day? Um, Valentine's Day, it's cold. So, what would you rather do? Depends on if the restaurant's got the heater on. <laughs> I'd rather stay home. And who's I'm picking up the body. bill? I'm a homebody, and I really would rather stay home and have a nice sit-down <clears> dinner. <throat> it depends um, on who's picking up the bill and if the heater's on. Mainly who's picking up the bill. So if I'm not picking up the bill, let's go eat out. And if he is having to pick mm -hmm. up the bill, bill stay Mommy's home. cooking tonight. <laughs> All right. Number 10. Read it up, son. If you could, uh, could only eat one color of food on Valentine's Day, either all red or... Or all white, which would you choose? All red. Steaks are red. <laughs> so are beets and radishes and yeah. cabbage. And... Yeah, I'm not going to eat those. I'm just going to eat the steaks. <laughs> it's just um, on Valentine's Day. One day a year I get to eat three steaks. There you go. Right. I'd probably go for white. And look, these are reds. Mm-hmm. I'd probably go for white, for the fact that um, I like Make pasta. Make egg whites and your spaghetti. I'd want eggs in the morning. <clears throat> I'd want pasta. Yeah, that kind of stuff. You couldn't make so your I spaghetti because spaghetti is sauce red. is red. There you go. But I could have noodles with butter on it. Mm -hmm. Would you rather have your feet? Or Alfredo's. Ooh. Would you rather have your feet or shoulders massaged? Me and my feet. I want my feet dead. Always. What about you, son? I don't know. Never got I'm either. telling you, as a mom, he's a 20-year-old. Ain't nobody touching those feet. <laughs> I've smelled those socks. I've done that laundry. He'll be lucky to get his shoulders done. <laughs> All right. What's your favorite love song? Um, my favorite is When You Say Nothing At All by Alison Krauss. She actually remade it. Um, it's a old timey country western song, but it's the only love song really that I. I think Don Williams did it first, and then Alison Krauss redid it. Keith, somebody made it first. No, Don yeah. Williams is older than Hank Williams. Huh. Don huh. Williams is an old man, and that's the one I like. Hmm. Um, but then I remember Alison Krauss remade it, and then if somebody else, if Keith, somebody did it, I haven't heard that version, but I like the Don Williams old country version. All right, what's your favorite love song? First day I think of a love song. <laughs> he likes country, so... Um, I don't know. <laughs> there's some that you like that are... Um, what's that one that we always talk about when we can't figure out if it's written about a daughter or a wife? Something about your mama. Guide your mama and me. That's there you it. go. What about that one? That's all right. All right, what's your favorite romance movie that you would enjoy watching on Valentine's Day? Um, let's see here. I would want um, mine to be a comedy. I'm not big on romance. I just, I'd want it to be Technically, Bruce Almighty's a romance movie. It has a love story in it. So does Trading Places. No, comedies. I prefer comedy. So. Yes Man is a, has a love story to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, moving yes, on. Yes, Jim Carrey is on like two out of those three movies. Yes. <laughs> what is your real feelings about Valentine's Day? We live on the farm, so pretty much... Um, My real feelings about Valentine's it's, Day. It's a day to remember. I know the Catholic part. I know who St. Valentine is. 
Um, it was not romantic at all, but we won't get into this here. This is supposed to be fun. Um, we do celebrate it traditionally. I'll get them a little box of chocolates or these little conversation heart things that he likes and maybe a card. And that's probably all we do. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I know she's a buzzkill. Normally, I just go in and throw them a box of chocolates on their bed while they're out. Just, and they, they're, they're just the little ones because RJ only likes certain ones with the fillings in them. He likes the orange. The strawberry. And the strawberry. And there was one other one. I like the lemon. The lemon. But he doesn't like like the caramel or the... Coconut, no. <laughs> the coconut or anything. So I just give him a little box of four and he, he takes a bite out of one and then I have to eat the other half. So I just never buy my other. Any that he doesn't like, I eat. And I don't ever buy me a box. And then I just give Dad a box. And most of the time, Dad doesn't even eat his box because he doesn't like chocolate. So, it's kind of pointless, but we do it just because. I eat tons of these things, though. Yes, we do have those. I buy those by the bag, and I did have some in my little candy dish behind RJ's head, but he ate them all. Well, yeah, you don't so, buy them just to look at them. Um, <clears throat> but, anyway. The blue ones are the best. The blue ones are the best. When I was growing up, they didn't have blue conversation hearts. Anyway, so, all right, there's our 14 um, getting to know us in our Valentine's Day thing. We're going to challenge Liz um mama cat cheryl country cheryl's country corner uh -huh. and uh -huh. i'm not even sure i'm saying this one right it's s-o-l marie it's m-i-r-e-y-a moira myra myra anyway i like to watch her she's funny and i think she'll have a lot of fun with it so i'm gonna tag those four and then i'll pop over their uh -huh. channels uh -huh. and tell them uh-huh uh-huh uh -huh. but if you want to just jump in and do it more power to <clears throat> you okay so um we're gonna get off of here and get this up we're not very romantic maybe it's because we're son and mom i really thought i would get something out of that question about whether he was in a relationship i was just hoping <laughs> we'll catch you next time have fun and be nice to each other peace out girl scouts